welcome back. So today we're going to do some balance. So if you have a chair nearby, you can use a chair, you could use a counter, just don't use another human to hold on to for this. So something sturdy in the ground, I'm going to use a chair today to show you. For balance, we're going to be starting out with actually a tandem balance. So tandem is just a heel to toe, holding it here. If you want to make it a little bit easier though, if this is too challenging, bring that foot out a little bit, stagger the feet. But if you want to make it harder, line it up heel to toe, holding it here. For any of the balance exercises too, you can feel free to do 30 seconds, you could do a minute, totally up to you. Staying in this tandem balance, we're going to go up on the toes. So make it a little bit harder here. As you can probably see my feet wobbling already. It makes it a lot more challenging. Keep holding on the toes. Again, by a chair, by a counter. Holding it. Bring those heels down. Switch those feet. So again, heel to toe. Stagger the feet to make it a little bit easier, harder. Line it up here. Get that balance first. I'm gonna pull the chair closer to me. Coming up on the toes. Balance is definitely something we have to work at. Recently just went to Iceland and was very thankful that I practiced my balance. We're going over rocks, different terrain. So really making sure you have that footing. Bring those heels down out of this. Next up we're going to go into a single leg balance here. So holding on to a chair again if you want to or a counter lifting one leg off the ground holding it here. We're going to be here for about two hours. If you want to we're going to bring that leg up higher but if it was fine just down where it is, you can leave it there. Hold it here. We're going to bring that leg slightly higher one more time. Working that balance. I see my feet wobbling. That's normal. Bring that leg down. Switching the legs here. So other leg up and hold. Typically with single leg balance, one leg is better than the other. My left isn't as great as my right. So I always make sure that my hands are there just in case. Bring that right leg higher. Hold it here. Let's bring it a tad higher one more time. And having that hand hovering by a chair, a counter, not a dog or your partner. Relax here. We're going to go back to a tandem balance, that heel to toe. This one we're going to make slightly harder. So again, that modification, bring that foot out. But if you want to make it harder, line it up. From here, we're going to bring the front foot front toes off the ground, back foot, back heel off the ground. So front foot, front toes off the ground, back foot, back heel off the ground. 
holding it here. Definitely a more advanced one. So if it starts to hurt, just take a breather, relax. Come out of this switching here. Other foot in front. Get that balance first with the feet planted always. And then front foot, front toes, back foot, back heel off the ground. And typically when you do a tandem balance like this, most of your weight is typically on that back foot compared to the front. Not by a lot, but typically most people say they carry their weight in their back foot. Holding it here. Relax out of this here. We're going to be doing some more. We're going to do a calf raise hold here. So feet don't have to be together. They can be out a little bit so you have a little base. But we're just going to go up on the toes. Hold it here. This exercise always reminded me of grabbing stuff from the garage that's way too out of reach. You're too stubborn to find your ladder, so you're like, I'll just go on my toes. Coming down. Same thing, but now heels are going to stay on the ground, toes off the ground. Doing good. On the toes one more time, heels are off the ground. Heels back on the ground, toes off by that chair, just in case you need to grab it. Come out of this single leg balance again here. For this one, we're going to bring a heel onto the ground, right leg is straight, left planted on the ground, lift that right leg up in front of you, holding it here. We're going to be here all day now. Bringing it out to the side. Bringing it behind. Relax, switch legs here. Left leg off the ground by that chair. Out to the side. behind and relax here good job with that one so next here we're going to be actually doing another single leg for this one we're going to go back to the leg being straight lifting it in front we're going to keep it in front the entire time here so holding it out pulsing it up and down. The nice thing about balance exercises, you can do it at home, making sure that you're on a nice flat surface though, for always practicing it. Sometimes when I'm in the kitchen, waiting for that popcorn to finish in the microwave, I'll just do some balance. Coming out of it, switching legs here, out in front, and again up, 
Get that balance first, and then pulse. Always make sure you get that balance first before doing something a little out of the ordinary. Holding it here. Three, two, relax. Tandem balance again. So by the time now we know that tandem balance, we know how to modify it with the foot out a little bit. From here, we're gonna tilt to one side, tilt to the other. And it can just be a tiny tilt. You don't have to reach down for the feet. If you're by a chair or counter, hold on to it and just tilt and tilt, tilt and tilt. Shifting that weight towards the edges of our feet. And come out of this, switch those feet, other foot in front. And again, tilt to one side, tilt to the other. Tilt to one side, tilt to the other. I would always describe tilting to people as you're at a family gathering, you go in for that hug goodbye, and then they also go on the same side, and then you tilt the other way quickly, then they do. And then you're in a never-ending cycle of tilting both ways. And then you just end with a handshake, typically. Relax here. Okay. We're going to go back to a single leg balance. But for this one, we're going to just lift one leg off the ground. So it could be knees by your side, by the sides, foot out in front more, leg can be straight, whatever's comfortable for you. Holding it here. The leg that's planted on the ground, we're gonna bend it slightly and back, slight and back. So again, it could be right here. You could bring that leg up more and pulse it. You can bring it out to the side if you want to. And just a tiny pulse, nothing crazy. Just down and up, down and up. Building strength in that leg while balancing. Come out of it, switch those legs here, other leg off the ground, and again, little pulses. And again, that leg could be up front more, out to the side. You could pulse both at the same time. No, don't do that. You could. Buy that chair though, just in case. Three, two, relax here. All right, we're gonna go back to a tandem balance. So, heel the toe. For this one, we're actually gonna do a twist. So, for the twist, you can have the hands together, down by your side. If you're gonna be by a chair, hand hovering over that chair or counter, you're just gonna twist to one side, back, Twist to the other. Twist in here. And again, hovering over if you need to. And just twisting to your comfort as always. Oh, good thing I got the chair by me. And come out of this switching sides here. and twist. For any of the exercises, feel free to do them longer or shorter. You could say that was too long, I'm gonna do half of it, and that's okay. Just twisting. Or you might say that was way too short, I'm gonna go for a longer time. Good thing that chair's there. Three, 
to relax here. We're just gonna do a couple simple stretches after doing all the balance here by that chair if we want to be. Right heel's gonna go on the ground, keeping that right leg straight. Lean forward. Stretching out that leg here. Add that reach if you'd like. Come on up. Switching here, left heel on the ground, bend the right leg, lean forward, add that reach if you want to. Come up out of this here. One more, just kind of working the hips a little bit, just some hip circles. If you got a hula hoop at home, feel free to hula. Other direction here. And again, feel free to do any of these exercises at home. Just always make sure you got a chair, a counter, and a flat surface to do it on. Glad you enjoyed the class today. Hope to see you back.